Hi Virgo, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and this is your What The Fuck reading for the 17th to the 23rd of February. Hi my lovelies, welcome to the channel. Hope everything is okay. Just a couple of messages if you know somebody who was born on the 29th of February, I will be doing them um, a reading that will be going up this week. Because um, they only get a reading once every four years, I thought it was it would be worth doing for um, the people that are born the 29th of February. So, yes, yeah, so give them a message if you feel they might get something out of it. Secondly, I've introduced the Blessed Bee card, so I will be drawing a card from that at the end of the reading to give you an energy or a blessing um, for the week. So, this is your current situation, lovelies. What started the what the fuck? And then we're going to move to your first aspect facing, oh, not that many, we're not. Facing fears and taking your fucking power back. How is Virgo taking their power back this week? Okay. So your second aspect, what you've been manifesting, your wish fulfillment, and why this may be fucked, Virgo. This is your journey, your movement, and where the fuck you need to be. What the fuck you can do about the situation. Yes, we know there's hundreds of solutions, but we're not taking all of them. One solution would be good for Virgo, please. Can I have what Virgo can do about the situation? do about the situation crikey they're flying out the reconnecting to the true you and can i have an outcome what the fuck is happening next okay lovelies so darling you've got the six of the famous you've got a lot of your famous in this haven't you you're the six of the famous um and I'm kind of getting, when I laid it down, I thought, normally I see travel across seas with this, and I kind of got the feeling that um, you've turned your back on a situation um, and you have travelled some distance, is what I got. So this may be a situation from your past, because I get the feeling you have travelled some distance away from this situation. So, facing your fears and taking your fucking power back, darlings, you feel like you come back from battle triumphantly, but you are looking, oh, although you've turned your back, you're looking over your shoulder. And it could be that you really know what happened, you know um, how things unfolded, but you are kind of looking back. One, to make sure that you don't do that kind of thing again, or you don't allow that energy to enter your sphere again. But I kind of get the feeling that you are missing this Ten of Cups. You are missing the completion and you are missing the begin beginning of this. So I kind of get that although you really want to stand in your flower, the flower, power and feel triumphant, right now I'm getting that there is some looking back. I'm not going to say regret. I'm going to say looking back at lessons that you have been taught and that you are really currently missing this ten of cups big time now this ten does commute into a beginning because it is a completion which means there has to be a restart of some description but i'm kind of getting the feeling that on the face of things that you feel quite triumphant but underneath um it's killing you it's it's you have got such 
sad feelings about whatever it was that you turned your back on, whatever you've drifted away from, what you're travelling away from that situation. I kind of get that although you, you felt triumphant, um, this wasn't a situation that you instigated, that this was um, somebody else's decision um, to move away from, but you've travelled away from it. And I'm not even going to say it was willingly, because that's why you're looking over your shoulder, because you're trying, although you understand what happened, you're still trying to grasp those lessons from this situation. So lovelies, your second aspect, faith, uh, what you've been manifesting, your wish fulfillment and why this may be fucked. Now, you've got the queen of the Thames. Now, she's a queen that's in her thoughts, in her head. She is a solution-based queen. She will think about things. Um, sometimes she will overthink things, but she will think about things very vividly, very strongly, sometimes to her own detriment. Now, look at that athemi she has in her hands. She can draw power down through this athemi to help her along her life's path. But by the same token, she can hold it in front of her for protection. And believe you me, it's fucking sharp. Because when she needs to, this queen can cut away dead weight. She can cut away what no longer serves her. And I kind of get the feeling, male or female, that this is the person that you have... I'm not even going to say battle. I'm going to say had, felt you had a triumph over... But there's this missing, I'm getting that you're missing this energy. Um, and this, and why it is fucked is because she can cut things away without a second thought. She can just have rid of it. She doesn't have to get into the whys and the wherefores of things. She does get lost in her thoughts and she will be arguing in her head about the the positives and the negatives of the situation for years to come I have to say but she is she just moves on she just for all the world to say she has protected herself and she has cut away what, lo what no longer serves her in her life now this could be yourself it could be an aspect of yourself it could be a family member it could be a friend it could be a colleague so don't lose sight of that that this energy does not have to be another person it could be that you've got air sign in your chart it could be that you've got a strong air sign personality around you that even if it's not their star sign it could be their rising sign or their moon sign so just keep that in mind and again i normally draw on energies rather than sexuality however in this case i really do get a strong strong feeling that this is female this is a female energy that you are dealing with and you are really missing you are really missing this they have shared an awful lot with you this wasn't a love compatibility this was a sharing of equal thoughts and feelings across many years and i get that it's many years since you've had that input from somebody nobody has ever come up and matched that input from this person so lovely, your journey, your movement, where the fuck you need to be. You have got a water sign. You've got the king of cups. Now this king, male or female, I'm going to say because I don't know what energy this is at the moment. This also can be their star sign, their moon sign, their rising star sign. But this cup, this king does not offer his feelings on a plate. He does not tell you how he thinks and he feels and it may be that you've taken on this energy it could be in your chart but i get the feeling you may have taken on this energy that you've had to stand in a masculine power in order to survive if you're a woman um, and if you're a man i kind of get the feeling that you've held back your feelings in order for you to feel safe um, in your journey 
but where you need to be is you you do need to start addressing why you're feeling like this why you why you have the need to hold back how you're feeling or even worse still i've just got telling people the exact opposite of how you're feeling having a go having a pop at somebody because you're hurting because you're hurting And the best form of defence is attack, is what I'm getting. Crikey, Virgo, what's been going on with you? Something's reared its head that you've suddenly got very, very fucking... Your back's up. You, you've got protective, but it's making you think about this connection. Something recently has happened that you've kind of gone... What the fuck? I thought I'd dealt with that. I thought I'd sorted that. I thought I'd cut that way so it's no longer serving me. I thought I was triumphant in that, but I'm fucking missing this energy. And I've moved so far away from it that I really don't know what to do about it. So I'm going to just fucking right off out of it again. Really? So where you need to be is be a little bit more honest with your feelings. Instead of being reserved or... Blaming somebody else. Get tri and you don't have to be honest with anybody else, lovelies. You do not have to spill your guts or your beans to anybody. You have to do it to you. You have to offer that cup back to yourself. How can you offer a cup of love out or a cup of happiness or a cup of joy out if you've never experienced that yourself? Um, it's going to be an empty cup. You've got to fill your own cups up first before you can start offering that out to other people. Now what you can do about the situation, you've got the High Priestess. This High Priestess knows her stuff. She draws energy from the moon. She knows how to cast spells. She knows to use those standing stones for protection. And what she's telling you is, is you are massively protected by the universe there is no reason why you can't put this issue out into the universe and ask the universe to be dealing with this for you on your behalf whichever way it pans out whichever way it sorts itself out if you ask the universe for assistance around this situation it will wholeheartedly give it to you do not stand on your own in this feeling you need to start being honest with you and ask the universe, the moon, whatever it is that you believe in, for this assistance to move this situation forward. Because what you can't change, love, is, is how you're fucking feeling. And this is your true feeling. This is your true feeling at the moment. You feel in despair. You feel sad. You feel fucked off, to be honest with you. This is the nine of a thames. This is... This is a, I'm, usually nines are set, I, I wish fulfillments. This is self-fulfilling prophecy. This is you. You've put the blanket up around your face. You don't want to look at the moon. You don't want to look at the truth. You don't want to look at your inner self. So until you're ready to do that, you can't change this. And, and you're going to stay in this state of, woe is me. Look what's happened to me. And right now, you're not doing that because you haven't been honest with you. It's nothing to do with you opening up and being honest and offering that cup to anybody else. It is everything to offering that cup to yourself, filling that cup up for you in order to be asking the universe to come in and help you get out of this fucking situation you've got yourself in. For some unknown reason, this has reared its head and you are tied up in fucking knots. But let me tell you, the reconnection to the true you is to understand that this was a life's lesson. This was a life's lesson about loss and about gain. This was a life's lesson about moving or not moving. This was a life's lesson about um, love or deceit. It's a lesson about um, knowing who your true friends are. 
This is about the pupil becoming the teacher and the teacher becoming the pupil. This is about life's lessons. You've still got those standing stones for protection. You've still got the waters for healing. But it's about life's lesson. And I'm kind of getting that life's lessons have hit you hard. And you really are not in the fucking mood for dealing with this. But it's reared its head. You are in a Mercury retrograde. Everything is going to come up and hit you from the past really fucking hard. Really hard. And I'm kind of getting that the life's lesson that you need to be. You need to be this Queen of Cups. You've got the King of Cups. You've got the Queen of Cups. She's slightly different energy. She's not as closed off as he is about his thoughts and feelings. She is more open. She holds the cup on her lap. She is willing to help somebody fill that cup up. She's got the seas lapping around her feet in healing properties. She is wholeheartedly looking at that ocean. She knows it's going to take that amount of water to get this healing sorted out for you. But you should be sitting there like this queen. And Virgo, I know that you are an earth sign and this is a water sign. But you do need to step in the waters to allow that healing to happen. You do need to get this cup, your cup, filled up not just by yourself but with somebody else somebody who understands and i'm not going to get that this is a male or female energy i get this is an energy within you you have the answer within you you have the ability to do this healing you have this ability virgo to be able to do this for yourself you just need the courage the conviction um and the confidence that you can do this. And you've got this within you, Virgo. You have. You have. And I'm sorry that this has reared its heads for you, my darlings. Because this, this was a painful issue for you. It was a painful part of your life um, that's reared its head. And I'm not even going to say that you're... There is some element of regret... But I'm not going to say that it's fully with regret because I think there was so much going on around you at the time that you really could not say that you was actually losing this. Um, I think you kind of felt... I think you kind of felt that it was much less than that. You didn't realise the riches... That you was losing i'm not talking about finances i'm talking about the support the emotion um the joy that this connection whatever it was um brought to your life and how it enriched your life so lovelies at the bottom yeah okay i get that so at the bottom of the deck lovelies you have got the lord of shadows now the lord of shadows tells us that somebody is lurking in the shadows they're peering out at other people's lives and I'm kind of getting that you really want to emerge from this shadow. You want to let your light shine, but you're not quite sure how to do that. So instead of taking that first step out, you are still hiding behind that tree. Virgos, you don't need to do that. Lovelies, you're an earth sign. You stand in your power. Just take that first step. Make that first move. It doesn't make you a lesser person. It just means that you have got the confidence, you have got the courage, and you have got the conviction and the confidence to be able to do this, to start this healing process in motion. And this is a healing process that comes with a lot of life's lessons, lovely. I kind of get the feeling, Virgo, that you've probably been through more than your fair share of things and i kind of get that because you've got the sixth of the phone is this may have been the sixth major incident in quick succession in quick succession but it has left you feeling that your cup is empty my lovelies and that you really do need to have the faith in yourself on your journey 
for you to face yourself and start filling your cup up for you, for nobody else but for you, and ask that universe to help you to clear the blocks so you are able to see the life's lessons, that you're able to get out of this damn fucking misery you've got yourself into, and know that you're able to heal and move out into the light. You need that, you need the sunshine on your face, you need to laugh again, Virgo, you need to be happy again. You on the outside, Virgo, are showing the world you're happy, you're showing your family you are happy, but inside I am getting that you are dying. You are, you're in absolute despair of what it is that's going on around you, lovelies. It's made me so sad. I'm, I'm feeling really sad about this. It's not an energy that anybody would enjoy um, being in Virgo. So, my lovelies, your blessed B card for this week is a blessing for good men and fathers. So, if you have got a male element around you that you trust, um, know that this blessing is there for them to encourage you to get onto this journey and this life's path, lovelies. Virgo, I look forward to your next reading, hoping that it's going to be a lot more um, upbeat than this one. Um, lovelies, please like, share and subscribe for me. Uh, leave me a comment if you feel up to it. I don't think I would feel up to it under the circumstances. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you in next week's, week's reading. Take care for now. Bye-bye.